We have some breaking news that's coming in. A group of armed gunmen in Ecuador have stormed a television station there, and that during a live broadcast. Shots have been heard inside the station located in the city of Guayaquil. Now, this footage from the broadcast shows staff being forced to lie on the floor. You see there gunmen with masks on, reportedly saying that they have weapons and guns and bombs. A state of emergency is already in effect across Ecuador. That after a drug cartel leader broke out of prison, Adolfo Macias, also known as Vito, was serving a 34-year sentence for murder and narcotics trafficking. So Ecuador, a country right now in uproar. We want to find out more about this breaking news story. I want to bring in journalist Adriana Neboa Aregui, who joins us from the Ecuadorian capital, Quito. Adriana, it's good to have you with us. Tell us what more do we know about what's happening at that TV station? Uh, hello. Well, right now, actually, I just got a message that all the people from the TV station have been released and the injured ones are being taken to a hospital. So the police just stormed in the TV station a couple of minutes ago. And the latest we know is that the situation is under control right now. And, and do we know, are they making any demands? I mean, what do, what do these gunmen want? That's kind of complex to explain because it's something that's happening since uh, probably last night that the government issued a executive order yes. to put the military on the streets. So it has been some kind of retaliation uh, against this uh, measurement from the government. It so this is one of the violence acts that we have been seeing since early this morning. Yeah, and I, I understand that the president of Ecuador is facing um, a lot of pressure to restore security in the country. Talk to me about that. I mean, what is the security situation there? We haven't had, like, uh, real security here from the past two or three years, actually. The violence is getting bigger in the streets. And right now, uh, from last night, it's uh, chaos everywhere. We have had bombings, uh, cars exploding, there are shootings in different uh, cities. We have had um, the jails, uh, prisoners in the jails, they are making demands. And everything is a little bit chaotic and the government is not being very clear about what is being done. But for now, right now, the president just um, changed the executive order from last night and they are kind of declaring war against these uh, gangs and these uh, organized crime uh, organizations. So this is last minute. Uh, I'm trying to understand exactly what the government is trying to do right now. Yeah, I mean, I, I know the picture is still unclear, um, but we do know, though, that there was um, an imprisoned drug cartel boss who escaped from prison. I think he's known as Vito um, in the country. And that prompted the president to say that he wants to regain control of Ecuador's prisons from criminal gangs. I guess people on the outside are wondering who is in control of Ecuador right now? Is it the government or is it the drug cartels? Well, the prisons, the prison system, uh, the government hasn't had any control over it uh, for the past two years. So. Uh, the president is right. He's trying to regain control of the prison system. But that's going to be hard because the gangs, they have the control now. And it's true what you said. Uh, this gang leader uh, called Fito, he escaped prison. Um, the government let us know that he was not there, uh, I think, two days ago. Mm -hmm. But the rumors on the street is that he had fled around Christmas. And we haven't had an official statement about that. I see. So... It's kind of hard to know why now, mm -hmm. if he might be gone for, for like, I don't know, two or three weeks. Yeah. And the executive order from last night, uh, one of the arguments to issue it was uh, a big case of corruption that the district attorney started back on December against okay. these gangs that are uh, mm, laundering actives and... Okay. involving really big cases of corruption here. Okay. Adriana, well, unfortunately, we're out of time, but we certainly do appreciate you bringing us up to date on what is going on in Ecuador. Lots of questions there and um, obviously a serious security situation in the country tonight. Thank you.